tonight? Are you his disciple? All right. That's good. That's good. Yes. Are you his disciple? Have you ever betrayed him? I know it was prophesied, it was to come to pass. But what really struck me was all of those disciples started searching themselves. And my because when you get out of that bed and you pray and you read your Bible, you better search yourself. Lord, is it I? Is it me, Lord? Have I failed you to the point that I no, no longer can become your disciple? You know what? I'd rather be chosen, but Jesus is every one of you in this building right now to have a have a hundred a hundred pound piece of gold and tell me, son, I'm gonna give you this gold, but you deny Jesus. That wouldn't even faze me. No, sir, the cause. But yeah, I found it upon some mother that's gonna live forever. And you know what? It's the eternal spirit, and if that eternal spirit's gonna live forever, and he gets in you, and you keep it, you're gonna live forever just as well as him. He said, I'll give you a glorified body like on the mound. to you when you're trying to travel in one direction and the wind's blowing in the other direction it's going to take a lot more effort to get there ain't it well as lord we have contrary winds sometimes church that blow in our face praise the lord the enemy trying to stop us from making progress praise the lord but you know what there ain't nothing can stop the hand of god in this hour that we're living in for he is great and greatly to be praised and, and this army that god has called is going to march forward and we're going to we're going to have victory over the enemy just like the lord said he would yeah i believe in the book of first john chapter five the bible said that this is the victory that overcometh the world even your faith Closeness of the to me. He's going to take me through the valley. He's going to bring me through the flood. He's already. He's with us. Come on, He's here. You don't see that His presence is here. He's holy. He's holy. There's nothing, nothing unclean about Him. Give the Lord a hand for He's the Almighty God. He's the everlasting Father. He's the Prince of Peace. He's Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And He's coming again with great power and glory. Ever I shall see him. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready? Hell is hot. You say, well, my, I've got good friends in hell. I'm just going to party and go on. Listen to this, young people. There's people out there trying to get you out. You party today. And there's all kinds of kids that thought they was going to have another chance. Thought they was going to be all right. But I'm going to tell you something. You don't have to be old to die. You might die at a very young age. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. It's dealing with you tonight. It's time to do it. And it's time to get up. Do what God wants you to do. And then don't wait. Don't hesitate. But move. As God wants you to move. It wasn't just Jesus that was on that cross. But it was the pressure 
that was on that cross. It was oppression that was still on the cross. It was anxiety that was on the cross. It was lust that was nailed to the cross. It was fear that was nailed to the cross. It was cancer that was nailed to the cross. It was sickness that was nailed to the cross. Guilt was nailed to the cross. Every worry was nailed to the cross. Unbelief was nailed to the cross. Was down to the cross. I wish somebody would help me preach. It was doubt that was nailed to the cross. It was failure that was nailed to the cross. It was your life that was nailed to the cross. It was addiction that was nailed to the cross. It was drugs that was nailed to the cross. It was alcohol that was nailed to the cross. It was your cigarettes. That was nailed to the cross. It was faith that was nailed to the cross. It was pornography. That was nailed to the cross. It was nailed to the cross. 